so hello guys welcome back to my channel coding phoenix and in today's video we are going to be creating a project called my profile app so we are going to be doing some thinkable today as we are taking break from text by coding so yes let's do this so i'll just show you a quick demo is i mean this project will kind of take some time and by time i mean a lot of time so here this is the portfolio app that i made now if you go to the app screen there are apps that i made so the pager app and the modi app and the raksha bandhan app now if you click on view app it will take you to the google uh, app screen now this is the demo screen so there is nothing in the demo screen it just takes you there so yes now i'm gonna go to screen one there is nothing in screen one i guess sorry for that and just delete this and then we're gonna go to gallery so yes this is some gallery i mean this is not me but yes this is some picture from google so yes it's the gallery and about me here so your facebook gmail and share and i showed you and you're gonna write a message here and then you're gonna do thank you mom and dad and then the heart and then my profile screen you can go up here and my profile you guys can see some three buttons here you can change the screen and then about so here i wrote now we can go to skill screen since skill screen we added the html js and uh um and, and the last one i don't remember what that is sorry for that yes. then now the change team final screen so yes change team is going to change team here as you guys can see so yes this is what we're going to do in this video so yes guys let's do it oh one sec So first of all, you're gonna add a draw navigator. Just add all of this inside this. Yes. So now it's done. Now we're gonna do the about me first. So here you're gonna add a column and fit fill container fill container and yes then you're gonna add a row inside the column then fit contents this row is for height is fit contents invisible is true and this then we are gonna add a button so this is the main header part guys i hope you remember it and then i have added the image or the three lines and this is the height fit contents fit contents and the radius is 75 yes now label so we're gonna add a label load the text is about me font is 18 now you guys can uh the text color the background color and the font size and the font style and the font width all is totally dependent on you guys you guys can do whatever you want so yes let's do this so yes then we're gonna add another row so row 32 now the row is fit contents height is fit content 
horizontal alignment is right and yes now we're going to go to the image so there is no source here so yes um, absolute size 50 and absolute size 50 then we're going to go to a row if you open the row there is an image here to the row it is fit content yes. and then you're going to add the image inside the row kid 21 absolute size 230 that is a height now you can now you're gonna add another row you're gonna add three buttons here the facebook image the gmail image and the share image and uh, row uh, height is fit content and yes now the button is same it is just add the pictures here Absolute size 60, absolute size 60, and the border radius is 75. So, yes, this is for the same button 678, all the same. Now, we're gonna add another row, row 35. Here, the, the name is written of your name. So, my name is Aishwarya, okay, so I just wrote here. And height is fit content, uh, width is also fit content. Then we're gonna add another row. So row 36 label. Now we're gonna add another row uh, label here. So the text is I'm really blessed that I can call you my parents today. I want to thank you God from the bottom of the heart that He gave me parents like you. Live a wonderful life. So this is the text that He gave. You guys can change it. Now we're gonna add another row. Inside the row, the height is fit content. and yes label 27 uh the text is thank you moment that and then we're gonna add an image in the image you're gonna add this heart if you want if you want so height is absolute size 150 with this also absolute size 150 so yes one screen is done now let's go to the blocks for about me uh now when button 5 is click call screen about me uh, toggle draw draw a menu when button 8 click call share one share message message hello download my app without output error when share message is done when button 7 click call share one sends emails to email now you can add an email here greetings how are you and button 6 click we have to open this link so this is the facebook or viral journey so you have to give link for that and um let's see so there is one invisible com uh, component the share okay so yes now about me is done now let's go to gallery gallery so gallery is simple nothing else you have to just give the header part first so a column column fill container fill container inside the column a row fit content and then inside the row a button and a label the button need to give the line again and the radius is 75 and now the label text is gallery and fit content fit content yes and then we're gonna add another row inside the row there is an image and this image guys you have to add your logo and a logo you can add from canva.com so pretty simple you have to just type logo and then you can create it by your own if you click on logo example here 
so pretty simple guys i just created a mind like this and then you can just create it it's like pretty simple yes so once the header part is done you're gonna add a row inside the row or uh, inside the row you're gonna add a column so let's see the rows will contain a will contain okay so the margin top is 5 pixel and yes that's it now you're gonna go to the column column is full container full container and now you're gonna add the images you're gonna start adding the images inside the column as the background picture so margin left is 5 pixel and margin right is 5 pixel yes and then you're gonna add a column below that you're not going to add the column inside it but the column below that so inside the column you're gonna add another two columns So, margin is left 5 pixel, right 5 pixel. And then this column you have to add the picture. And then here also you have to add the picture. So, yes. Now this one is done. Now to do different here, you have to do it the ultra side. Now you're gonna add a column first. So margin bottom is five pixel, and inside the column you have to add a row. And inside that row you have to add a column. Inside the column, you have to add two more columns, and inside the two more columns, you have to add the images. Yes, and then one final column in which you have to add the last image. So, yes. Now this screen gallery screen is done. So we are done with two screens now guys. We are going to go to the blocks. So when gallery opens if a variable theme equals to set. Set row 29's background color to have variable background color. Set label 24's color to have variable text color. And when button 4 click call screens gallery toggle draw or menu so you have to create a variable guys add variable theme add variable background color and add variable text color so yes now we have to go to demo screen demo screen is very simple you just add a web viewer and yes nothing much you have to go to the blocks when demo screen opens set web viewer choose url to add variable url that's it for a demo screen now you're gonna go to app screen and then app screen you have to add a column so this is the header part i guess yes so you have to add a column um yes and then inside the column you have to add a label and the text is apps now you're gonna add a column another column but not inside the before column but a new column and then uh, here inside this column you have to add the row a uh, row you have to add a row inside this and then you have to add a label the label is apps text is apps so yes and then you can add another row so row fit contents 
height is fit contents and then you're gonna add an image inside the row which is the logo absolute with absolute size 50 or uh, height absolute size 50 and this now you're gonna add another row below that not inside that below that so inside this row the height is fit contents and margin uh, is top 10 pixel margin top 10 pixel left top 10 pixel I mean margin top 10 uh, pen I mean no uh, sorry margin top 10 pixel margin left 10 pixel and margin right 10 pixel padding top 10 pixel padding bottom 10 pixel and padding left 10 pixel and the border radius is 20 next inside the row you have to add image inside the image you have to uh, give the page uh, screen I mean the image and then height is absolute size 90 with absolute size 90 and the radius is 40 next you are gonna add a column next to that I mean below that not inside that below that and uh, padding left is 20 pixel inside the column you're gonna add two labels so one label is what is pager app used for so pager i mean sorry yes pager uh, so this is the name of the app so app name is pager and then the next one is what is the app used for so pager is a chatting app then yes and finally below that you're gonna add a button so the button is vo app so yes height is fit content with fit content and the border radius is 75 so now it's pretty simple you're gonna duplicate this row and you have to duplicate it two times then you have to just change this and this and this and you have to just change the profile picture and the name of the app and what is the app about so yes the app screen is done now let's go to the blocks of the app screen until I is app variable url to uh, blank text box, uh, text box block so when app opens set column 8 visible to true Set so column nines visible to false. Count with i from zero to zero by zero point zero two five two five, and then you have to wait for zero point zero one seconds. Set so column nines background color to join RGBA two fifty five one zero six zero, and then i, and then the closing bracket, and then set labels label seventeens color to join. RGBA is 255, 255, 255, and then I, and then the closing bracket. And then below that, set columns A, set column eights visible to false, and set column nines visible to true. And then, when button one click, set I variable you are little to this. Navigate to demo screen, set button three click. So you have to give the link that you have to up, that you have uploaded into the uh, play store guys so yes and then when button to click you have to go to this and then you have to navigate to the demo screen okay guys so it's pretty simple i hope you understood it so yes don't don't worry i'll give you the link of this project in the description so yes now the app screen is done now we're gonna move to the my uh, portfolio screen there is nothing in portfolio just a row is there inside the row in the row um the row height is fit content and yes then you're gonna add the label inside the row fit content fit content and the text if portfolio and then you're gonna add another row below that not inside the below that 
and uh, rows height is fit content horizontal alignment is right and then uh, inside the row you have to add an image then you have to add a logo and height absolute size 50 with absolute size 50 and then finally at the end you have to add a web viewer below that and then you have to give your link of the um github i mean game lab game lab yes so you have to give the link for your github game lab project so yes so portfolio screen is done as well let's go to the blocks i think it's there in blocks Alright, nothing is done in blocks, so we can continue to my profile screen. Okay, so we're gonna add a column and um column and then the row, the row height is fit content. And then you have to add uh, open navigation ID I think this is a button yes this is a button so I had the relative sizes for 85% and with relative sizes 20% and then uh, radius is 75% and then you're gonna add a label I think inside that yes and then with the fit content height is also fit content uh, text is my profile and now we're gonna add another row below that the height is fit content horizontal alignment is left and then padding top is 40 pixel and uh, padding bottom is 70 pixel and then you're gonna add uh, uh, image inside the row and then a column below that image and yes inside the column you have to add three labels so the first is I show the you have to write a full name uh, font weight I gave is bold and font style is italic third label Third label you have to give your email. Fourth label. Yeah, you can give your mobile number. I did not give. So yes. And then you have to add a row below that. Inside a row there are two images. So this is the Facebook image. And then you have to add the Insta image. And then inside this row the height is with content horizontal alignment is left top is uh, margin top is minus 40 pixel left is 10 pixel and right is 10 pixel and padding bottom is 30 pixel and border radius is 30 pixel now you have to add an animation inside this row with absolute size 70 pixel right absolute size 70 pixel now you have to add the animation yes guys you to add some animation any animation you can add below that i mean inside that uh, animation not inside i mean uh, just under that you have to add a label called about here as you guys can see and uh, margin left is 20 pixel padding uh, top is 15 pixel padding bottom is 15 pixel Yes. And then another row. Inside that row, the height is fit content. Uh, horizontal alignment is center. Vertical alignment is top. Margin top is minus 35 pixel. Margin left 10 pixel. Margin right 10 pixel. Padding uh, bottom is 30 pixel. And border radius is 30 pixel. And inside the label, so padding top. Uh, padding top left and right is 20 pixel and then uh, 
font weight is 300 guys this one is necessary you have to give us 300 and then you have to give your about guys or uh, like what is special for if you are creating this for yourself then you have to write what is special for i have if you are creating this for someone else then they have to write what are they special of so this is what was given to me so i wrote it like this so yes now my profile screen is completed let's go to the blocks so nothing is simple when I open navigation id click call screen my profiles toggle and don draw menu and then like this my skill screen so yes inside the skill screen you have to add a column uh, the column is height is fit content inside the column you have to add a row horizontal alignment space around and uh, add fill container with fill container and you have to add the open navigation uh, id i mean i think this is a button yes and border radius is anti fine and then you have to add a label below that yes text is skill and now you have to add a row uh, below that meaning not inside it below it so yes horizontal alignment center vertical alignment center so yes guys then you're gonna add an image height uh, absolute size 50 with up till absolute size 50 and then you have to add the star thingy then you're gonna add a column below it so I add fit content uh, vertical element top margin 10 pixel margin left uh, 30 pixel padding top 10 pixel I mean padding top bottom left and right all is 10 pixel margin top is 10 pixel margin left is 30 pixel and border radius is 10 now uh, you have to add a um, row inside the column so row inside the row I have to one sec so the row, row height is fit content with absolute sizes 100 and border radius is 20 and the label uh, for label padding top and bottom is 2 pixel and text is CSS then I have to add a row inside the row you have to add another row one second so in this row the height is fit content uh, horizontal alignment is left margin top 15 pixel a uh, margin left 35 pixel and inside the row 9 you have to add another row My horizontal alignment center and this image 5 so image is CSS guys absolute size 80 absolute size 80 And then label 9 and padding uh, padding left and right is 10 and 30 pixel and this is CSS so you have to give the detail about CSS now you can search it from Google guys and yes now you have to just duplicate this uh, column and this column and then everything is done so you have to just add three columns one for js uh, css one for js and one for the uh, under one i forgot the, what is that so it's now let's go to the blocks for skill screen when open navigation click call screens skill screen toggle menu uh, when skill screen opens if a variable theme equal to set set row 7 background color to have variable background color 
so label seven color to add variable text color and now the final screen which you guys have been waiting for change team pretty small I guess okay so it had a background picture so yeah you can search it from google and add it any theme like any cool theme or something like that yes then you have to add a column column a vertical and element top then you set a column you have to add a row a row height is fit content Inside the row, you have to add the open navigation button. Then you have to add a label below that. The text is change theme. Then you have to add a row below that. Uh, the height is fit content. Then you have to add an image in the row. This is the star image, this one. You guys can search it from the Google. Height absolute size 50, width absolute size 50. Then the final row. Row 19. And then the height is fill container. Fill container. Change theme 1. So I think this is a label. So text is change theme. So this border is oh it's not a label it's a button okay so border is radius border radius is seventy five pixels now let's go to the blocks interlace have variable theme to text block empty text block interlace have variable background color to empty text block interlace have variable text color to empty text block when change theme one click set have variable background color to random color set have variable text color to random color set have variable theme to set Set row 17's background color to have variable background color. Set label 14's background color to uh, have variable text color. When open navigation click, call screen, change themes, toggle, toggle, draw menu. And yes guys, so yes it is done. So, <sighs> so yes guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.